So hello everyone, my name is Mario Damiani and with the admissions team of the International University of Monaco and welcome to this Q&A session focused on Master's Science in International Management. Uh, this event is made up of two parts. The first part is a presentation of the program made by the program director, Professor Camille Savarov. Hello, Camille. And the, the second part will be uh, made up of a question. So you'll be able to write all your questions in the Q&A section and in the chat section. Uh, so do not hesitate to write them down to have direct replies from the program director. So I would say that we can start and Camille, the floor is yours. So good afternoon, everybody behind the screen. Uh, thank you for being here for this short presentation. So let's start from the beginning. Um, technically, this program is for the student who wants to integrate uh, international teams in big corporations, small companies, startups. Um, so this master is definitely for you. Also, more and more, we have the students interested in uh, creating their companies or, or aiming to create their businesses after their studies. So this is something that uh, as well can be very interesting for you. This program definitely can be interesting for you. So what is important, Ayari? It's important for us, it's learning by doing process. So this concept is that uh, for the student to give the opportunity to meet the academic uh, person, so the academic professors, but as well the professionals. For these, we work with two types of professors, uh, so permanent professor and adjunct professor. Our permanent professor, they are all academic and specialist in, uh, in the field, in the academic field. Uh, and our adjunct professors, uh, they can be an academic, but also the professionals with a lot of professional expertise. So for us, it's important to have uh, this balance between these two profiles. So just to have the idea about the program structure. I go to the next slide. So we start in September with this first term. Um, when you arrive in September, from September to December, you will follow the what we call core courses. So the core business management courses. Uh, so the idea that you learn accounting, you business research, then strategic marketing, leadership and management. But also you will have some specialized courses uh, only for the international management cohort. Then after the Christmas break, so the second term starts and it starts at the beginning of January and it lasts till June. So during this period, you will follow mainly the specialized courses and also some transversal courses. So transversal courses, it can be uh, the courses that help you to elaborate your soft skills, develop your soft skills, uh, like public speaking or networking um, sales techniques or the project management skills. Um, so as you can see, it's only 10 months. So it's really very short period. So um, by definition, you need to be focused on your studies. Uh, you will have a lot of group assignments, a lot of um, homework, um, different active learning activities. So it will be really intensive. And then we continue from June, end of June uh, till end of December, uh, you will start what we call Capstone project. So the Capstone project, you will have four different options. So the first one, it can be an internship from four to six months um, done everywhere. It's up to you to choose the country and the company. Uh, what is interesting for the international management student that all the industries, all the uh, domains are open for you. Um, the second option can be uh, an academic thesis. So then the third one is the applied research project. And if you have a business idea, what we discussed before, if you are the future entrepreneur, then you can choose to do an entrepreneurial project. And in this case, you will be able to elaborate your business plan uh, with the professor and uh, will follow you during this period. 
and uh, launch your business after the end of your studies. So all the period of the capstone, it can last for four to six months. And uh, of course, something very important uh, is the soft skills that you will have the opportunity to, to work on it during uh, your studies here. And also all the networking opportunities uh, that you can meet. Um, so just to remind you, let's switch to the next slide. So just to remind you, uh, 10 months of intensive courses and then six months of capstone project. So honestly, most of the students choose to do an internship because they would like to get more um, professional expertise and find already a kind of place in their future for their future career goals. So if the most motivated one, they can even find a job position. <laughs> So um, as I mentioned before, doing by uh, learning by doing is essential for us. So uh, that's why you will be followed by the academic, but also the professionals. So you will the, the idea of the program that you will work on the real life cases, so and present your findings to the real professionals and the real company. Especially in Monaco, we of course in contact and we have the partnership with a lot of institutions here, organization. Here on the slide, you can see a few of them that I mentioned. Um, so several years, we work very closely with the Monaco government directly, but also with Oceanographic Museum, Monaco Tech, which is the incubator in, uh, in Monaco and Monaco. So the idea, one of the important projects that you will follow during this year, it's uh, the applied research project. So it's corporate project. Um, I mentioned few of the projects that the students work on. Uh, so for example, they work on the project uh, with the Oceanographic Museum a few years ago uh, with Monaco government about the smart cities. Uh, last year, they work with the um, agency, uh, consultant agency to develop uh, the sustainability uh, strategy for the companies. Also, something interesting to mention that during your studies, you will have opportunity to uh, to travel. So each year we organize a field trip uh, to different countries uh, to discover the different industries in the different contexts. So uh, previous years we um, we went to San Francisco. This year we are going to uh, to Spain to Madrid. So the idea that you learn um, you learn the new uh, the new environment, uh, you meet the different professionals uh, on the dur um, during this trip, and also you learn uh, you try to implement the learning that you get during your studies uh, on this specific uh, area. Um, what about conference? So we organize it regularly the conferences, seminars. Uh, our career department, they are really very extremely engaged and they follow the student from the beginning. As soon as you end in the university, you join the university starting from September, you will have the session with the coach, with the career coach. Um, you will learn how to create your CV, how to present uh, yourself during the interviews, job interviews. Um, then during the year, you have a few networking moments. So uh, the networking cocktails organized by the career department. Um, also one uh, important uh, meeting, networking meeting, it's our business days so organized each year uh, during the spring semester. Uh, so during two, three days, you have the opportunity to meet different companies, representative of different companies. Um, like the years, uh, the, the previous year, around 70 different companies from over the world, they come at IOM, they present their companies, they present the profiles that they are looking for. And they are also sometimes um, doing the interviews already with the students for some internship positions. Um, so I think, ah, Yes, the last thing maybe to mention that you have also the opportunity to choose to do the double degree with this master. 
So uh, instead of 16 months, you can decide to do the double degree with the, one of the, our partner school in Paris. And then it means that in 22 months, you will get the double degree, so two diplomas instead of one. Um, this is something that definitely, if you are interested in, we can discuss later uh, during your um, application process. So I think I gave you a quick picture of this master. So and now it's time for your question, but maybe before Mario will present a little bit of the application process. Exactly. So thank you, Camille, for introducing the program of the master. And now let's talk quickly about the application process. So IUM is a human science university but truly international multicultural. We welcome students in our program coming from more than 70 nationalities. So the application process, the admission process are quite uh, straightforward and everything is done online. What you have to do is to go on our website, www.monaco.edu. As you can see from the picture, there is a button always appearing on screen at the bottom of the screen, apply online. If you click on it, you'll be directed into uh, and an application platform will be asked to upload a series of documents that we need to evaluate your profile. First document is a letter of motivation. The core of this process is your motivation. Uh, so understanding that this letter of motivation is one page statement where you explain us who you are, we're interested in uh, management, international level, or you would like to do this program in Monaco uh, and so on. Uh, second document is, is are the transcripts of your bachelor studies. First of all, you don't need to have uh, to be already graduated to apply. As I said, we welcome students from all continents, so it will be too late after your graduation to apply. So we ask from you to upload the transcript available at the time of the application. So applications for fall. 2024 have been open in early October 2023 this year. So at that time, students that applied had only the transcript of the first two years. This is fine. This is what we ask from you. So to check how you perform in your previous studies. If you have, the system will also ask to upload a diploma, but if you don't have it, this is fine. Third document is a CV or resume according to how you name it. So the list of all, uh, your studies, skills, and experiences. Uh, knowing that no professional experience is required to join this master, but most of you have already some professional experience, maybe summer jobs or internships, and we would like to know about those experiences. Then a copy of your passport, a photo of you, the kind of photo that you would use for an ID document, and then an the system will ask you for an English test. First of all, the English test is not strictly needed at the time of the application. So you can apply even if you don't know a test yet. Uh, this is not a problem. You can go through the process. You will know if you're admitted. And then um, at the second stage, you will need to prove your uh, the level of your English uh, proficiency knowing that we require a B2 level proved through uh, an IELTS, a TOEFL, or a Cambridge Advanced test. Those tests are needed to be uh, provided before begin the beginning of classes, so you have time until next September to provide one, and they are waived in case you overstudied your bachelor fully in English, or if you come from an English-speaking country. Last step will be paying 80 euros, 80 as application fees. Once everything is done and finalized, we will check the documents, get back to you proposing an admission interview with the program director, with uh, Professor Safarov. Uh, the admission interview is a motivational conversation, a motivational interview. Again, you'll be asked to introduce yourself and tell uh, the program director the reasons why you would like to do this master and, uh, and uh, at IUM in Monaco. Uh, following this, uh, this interview, there will be a jury assessing all candidates. And let's say that from the moment when you finalize your application to the moment you will get 
the answer about your application, the process will take no more um, than two weeks. So it's quite a uh, quick and uh, straightforward process. If you have questions about this, I'll be pleased to answer to all of, uh, to all of them. So uh, let's start with, uh, with your questions. As I said, there's a Q&A section and the chat. But before uh, treating them, you will find here in this slide my direct contacts. I'm the admission manager dedicated to this program, so I'm available to answer all questions about the program, the content, the student life, application process, anything you would like to ask. Mm, drop me an email, make a call, or book uh, a video call with me. This is possible on the contact page of our website. So we can start a direct conversation about, uh, about uh, uh, this program. So first question, uh, what is the typical schedule for master students? So usually, um, so the first semester, it's quite uh, stable in terms of, uh, because there is a lot, as I mentioned, uh, we are talking about more core courses, so core uh, business management courses. So we work a lot uh, the, during this semester, you will work a lot with the permanent professor. So usually we are talking about around 15 uh, hours per week and uh, the same uh, quantity of hours for your homework. So it's quite full week of studies. Uh, spring semester, it's a little bit different because you will have a lot of adjunct professors. So some weeks that will be quite condensed because there will be the professor coming from outside of Monaco. Um, and it, it means that some weeks will be a little bit more overloaded than others. But still, we try to keep uh, the number of hours quite reasonable in terms of like around 15 to 20 hours during the spring semester. Thank you. And another question. Do professors bring real business experience into class? Of course. So as I mentioned before, we work a lot with the professionals because we would like you to have experience already, even in the even if you are still student, but to work on the real cases. So if you have the opportunity to work uh, during the on the real cases during your studies, you will be able then to manage them during your job. So Definitely Excellent. something that it's important for us and we try to give you this opportunity. Thank you. Uh, I'm currently doing my bachelor degree in English and with this management, do I still, do I need the, still to prove that I have a good level at it? So if you're talking uh, about the English proficiency test, as I said, the fact that you are attending a bachelor degree, which is taught fully in English, not partially, but fully in English. Uh, it means that uh, you don't need to provide any test at all. Same thing if you come from a country where English is the official language of the country. You don't need to provide the test. Uh, otherwise, uh, you will need to provide one. But as I said, you don't need to provide a test at the time of the application. Uh, you can go through the process even without one, and then focusing on, obt on obtaining the test at the second stage. Let's put it also this way. Maybe your level is um, average, sometimes weak. You're applying now. From now to September, there are nine months before, now, let's say, the beginning of class. So there's still time for you to improve your English, attending classes, improve it somehow. So we can trust that you, knowing that you're admitted, will commit to improve your levels, passing a test with the, the notes that we require, which is a B2 level, and be ready for September. If you do the same thing one month prior to intake, well, we will be considering that it is too late for you to improve your English level. It is two weeks to attend class in a month. So this is the logic that you have to, to consider when uh, when you apply. Is that correct, Camille? Yes, of course. Your level of your English, it's very important because all classes are st started in English. So in case if your English is weak, 
will be hard and challenging for you to to be in class. But okay. you have still time to improve, definitely. Okay. So another question come from an English speaking country, uh, sorry, Spanish speaking country. Regarding the official grades transcript of my documents are in Spanish, should I get an apostille and an official translation? So uh, we don't need apostille, but uh, we need the translation to English. Um, so this is something that, unfortunately, I don't speak Spanish, so I won't be able to, to read your transcript if it's in Spanish. Uh, so definitely we need the, the translation to English, but it doesn't mm. not necessarily be uh, apostille, with apostille. And another thing is that we are in Europe. So uh, in Europe, uh, your, the European credit system, ECTS, is used. But as IUM, we were established by an, an American organization. We are in Europe by outside the European Union. Officially, we still deliver degrees with the U.S. credit system. So with this system, there are no problems. If your own university is using a very peculiar credit system, you should ask them to provide you with a conversion of credits from your local system to the most familiar with your country. If it's South America, maybe the U.S. system. If it's close to Europe, maybe the European system. So uh, sometimes it's easy to us for us to understand uh, your credit sometimes it is better that you ask university to provide a conversion between the credits. You have to have a three year bachelor uh, to join IUM. So in terms of US credits, you have to own at minimum 90 US credits or in terms of European credits, a minimum of 180 credits to get to IUM. So uh, how can we prepare for the interview? What kind of questions can we expect? So it's more uh, motivational interview. So I will ask you to present yourself and then uh, I will ask some question about how are you as a student? What is your motivation? Why you would like join, uh, especially I am? Or what you would like to do later? Which kind of um, career goals? Um, you aiming so it's more like the discussion than the interview um so i always say to the student don't be worried about the interview it's just a discussion between two persons so i would like just to know you better yeah we are very small we, we have very small classes here at iom so it's important that everyone share the same level of motivation so to make a let's say, a committed cohort of people are willing to engage and work hard in this uh, demanding program. Is it's that correct? very important, yes. Okay, wonderful. So let's move further with the next questions. I have two degrees, one career in fashion design and marketing, one in law. For the master program, the management could work for me both as I'm interested in entrepreneurship and companies. Yes, definitely. So probably this program will be very additional to your uh, to your knowledge that you gain already. Um, so um, if you would like to continue as entrepreneur and you have already some ideas about your business, definitely this program can be give you a boost uh, for your future entrepreneurial aspirations. In the end, Monaco is a, one of the land of the entrepreneurships. Entrepreneurship. So there are many, many businesses that are open here and they work at global level because it's a, a positive open environment. So we get this from uh, our, the territory where we're based and we, let's say, uh, transmit to our students uh, to, to give a push to us uh, entrepreneurship, right? <laughs> Okay, yeah. so another question, should we find the internship by ourselves or the university helps us to find it? So the university, the career department, they assist you, they help you, they give you the tools, the all necessary to, tools to find your internship, but it's up to you to, to, to make necessary to find it. So this, there is always a difference that uh, between 
that someone find you an internship or you should find and we help you to find it. So uh, you, as I mentioned, you will have the sessions with the coach. You will have the sessions, um, how to create your CV, how to present yourself, which kind of industry can be interesting for you, which kind of career paths uh, can suit you. So this is something that definitely you can learn here in the university. We will give you all tools, but then afterwards you need to to make all necessary and uh, to to try to find an internship. In case if you have some challenges and you struggling to find an internship, definitely the care department they they can try to give you an additional boost to to uh, to help you to find it. Okay. And thank you. And could you give example of companies where students do their internship? This is something interesting for the international management because this is, as I mentioned, all industries are open for you. There is no specialization in international management. So we have the student afterwards working in uh, yachting. We have the student working in logistic. We have the student working in education. Um, so all career paths are open. It's up to you to choose the industry in which you would like to work. Just to give an example about this year's students, we have, for example, students interested in sport that would like to continue in sport. We have students interested in automotive um, industry. We have the students uh, interested in charity or arts. So this is definitely something that after your this master, you can go in all possible industry and to choose all possible positions. So uh, two last questions, guys. If you have questions, this is the time to write them down. So the first one, does the internship are does the internship are done in Monaco or also elsewhere? Do so you, as I them? mentioned, so you can cho choose the country. It's up to you to choose the country where you would like to do your internship and to find this internship there. So we have a student doing it in uh, UK. We have the student doing it in Spain. So this is something that it's not limited to Monaco, not at all. And the last one, what does make the management program in Monaco special and different from other ones? So uh, probably maybe two important points that I can mention. The first one is that uh, the possibility to have in class the professors with the extensive professional expertise. This is something important to uh, to have the possibility to 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 be taught by the professionals with the real life cases with the real expertise. This is probably the first point. And the second point, of course, we are in Monaco. And Monaco is the country of entrepreneurial aspirations. So this is here, you will get the opportunity to meet the people, to network, and to create the relation that will lead your career for, for the future. So probably I can find a lot of other aspects, but this is the two main points. Absolutely. And there was a, not a last second question about the visa. Should we ask to the French embassy? Uh, because I know the students normally live in Nice. They live in Nice, but also closer to Monaco, still in France. Monaco is a teeny tiny nation, so you can walk to the university while living in France. Uh, so it's a French visa, but our student services is uh, very good in counseling students, telling them uh, which kind of visa they need to ask, how to, they need to be prepared, which documents they need to have uh, up before meeting the consulate for a successful appointment. So uh, you'll be guided also through the process. And as I said, we welcome students really from literally from all continents. And so far, no problems, no particular problems arise normally. So if you follow the instruction that the student services will give you, you'll be able to get the visa that will let you live in France and attend IUM in Monaco. Okay, I think that this was the last one. As you've seen, guys, I've written in the chat 
uh, my contacts, my direct email. But anyway, I will follow up with you, uh, with each one of you following these events. So uh, let's stay in touch and maybe let's meet soon in next September or even earlier here in Monaco. Thank you, Camille, for the presentation. Thank you. Thank and you. thank you, thank everyone, you for, for participation. Exactly. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.